Good morning. Uh, my name is Cash from Cloud Soldier. In this video, I will demonstrate how to deploy a web app using Azure Portal. If you're looking at this slide, it's quite simple. Uh, basically, to create a web app, we need to have a app service plan. In my last video, I showed you how to create an app service plan already, but I will show you again, again because without service app plan, we will not be able to deploy a web app. Web app is a new name, same which is like an old term we used to call it website. First of all, we select an app service plan. We can create or create a new one, or we have an existing existing one. We can use the same one. So basically, when we create an Azure app, basic we create a unique DNS name. Then we'll select an operating system like Windows or Linux. In Linux, Docker containers are used to support Linux on web apps. So basically in Linux, we have Docker containers. They are built-in Docker images to support various versions of Node.js, PHP, .NET, and Ruby runtime stacks. When you select Linux for your operating system time, you must select an app service that was configured for Linux or create a new app service plan with Linux for so basically the same. So when we are deploying a web app on Linux operating system, you need to create an app service plan which was configured for Linux. In the Azure portal, we will search for web app and open a new web app blade specify the name operating system obviously again windows or linux select an app service plan we can optionally choose application inside this is very important application inside is a resource that collect data about your application running in the web app which can be useful for troubleshooting performance issues application errors and even insight into how end user are using the application so this is a quite useful um, tool built in in Azure called App Insight, Application Insight. So basically, it can tell you any existing performance issues, any application er errors when users are accessing this web app or website, and also can tell you that um, any bottlenecks, how you can improve the situation. As you can see, I just logged on to my um, Azure portal. And I can see in my resource group, I've got nothing in there, no resources in there. So, so first step to deploy I, to deploy a web app is to create a service plan. So if I go to all services, which is called also marketplace, and search for app service plan. So there is it. Select service plan. Click add. And we can call it uh, Cloud Soldier, like we did in the last video. Subscription page, you go depends what subscription do you have. Make sure uh, some some places or some environments or some they will multiple subscriptions. So make sure which subscription you're choosing. And you can have a list of over here. So make sure the right subscription you choose. Resource group, we need to create a new one because we have nothing at the moment. Say, I would say cache, RG, operating system, like I said before, uh, Windows or Linux. And in our case, we're using this central location. We'll use uh, UK West. Leave it as like this standard one up here. Create. And you can see that started cl uh, clearing deploying in progress now you can see that it's been completed if you go to our all resources we can see that app service plan cloud soldier is created and this is our resource group cache rg so the next step now we have got our service plan now we can create our or deploy our web app to this service plan. So the process is simple. We again, 
all services look for web app which is called app service same thing click that and create app service now as you can see that at our portal we are on the marketplace click web app we're creating and deploying our website click create we call it uh, app name say cash hr dot dash app subscription as you go you know that and we got resource group which we already created we use existing one which is cash rg um, windows or linux we in our case windows app service plan we have got already created cloud soldier uk west click create you can see deployment in progress you can see that deployment succeeded so we have deployed our web app if we go to resource we can go into more details later on about all the properties of this app but for time being uh, in this video we just demonstrated how to deploy a web app using Azure portal what I'll do, I'll delete all the resources again and I will show you in my next slide how to create or deploy a web app using PowerShell. Just to show you that, how to delete everything, but be careful in production environment or even your test environment. If you create, if you delete this resource group, it will delete everything. So for the training purpose, uh, because I, I, I'm going to show you how to deploy a web app using PowerShell I will delete and create a clean slate so delete resource group just copy cache rg oops I um, shouldn't be having this inverted commas click delete delete resourcing group now you can see that in resource group and all resource groups nothing there it's all deleted now we'll show you how to create um, or deploy web app using PowerShell looking at this slide um, deploying web app using PowerShell what I've done I've combined the previous script and we show create a new resource. We'll first of all, we'll create a new resource group. Then we'll create a new app service plan. Like I said, we cannot deploy a web app or website unless we have a existing app service plan, or we can create a new one. So in this example, we're creating a new one again just for exercise purpose. And after that, we'll deploy this new web app in the existing app service plan. Um, quite simple. I just uh, copy I just I copied the same script which I showed you in this slide into my PowerShell IAC running as an administrator or as normal um, as you can see in this script here I, I got all the properties as a variables resource group name cash cash RG App service plan, cloud soldier, location UK West, DR premium, worker size small, and this is my web app name, cache HR, which is like we showed you in, in the portal. And this is the main script, new Azure RM resource group, name, and we got the variable, location, and we got a location variable, which is UK West. Then we got the app service plan, new Azure RM app service plan resource group name you got the variable over here group name which is cash rg name app service plan name app service plan name is cloud soldier we got also variable for that and the tier same like this for deploying new web app new azure rm web app resource group name resource group name location variable location app service plan name web app and the variable for web app 
make sure before we do that we have to connect to our Azure subscription which is connect Azure RM account it will ask you for the you can see that this is my account my tenant ID subscription ID simple I just run the whole script as I've shown you before there's nothing in there in Azure portal when we run this script this should populate and create a resource group app service plan and deploy a web app let's run the script see what happens before we run the script we make sure um, like I showed you in my previous step that we have to connect to our Azure RM account by command connect dash RM Azure account. If you click run script, so it's running the script. I will pause this, I'll pause the video over here. When it finishes, I'll come back. Right, as you can see that um, the web app is deployed. A resource group has been created called Cash RG. Location is UK West, and app name is called Cash. HR app. We can also visit to this website by typing as the default host number into our browser. Um, but I will come back to that again and explain to exactly what we can do with this, which is out of scope at the moment. The purpose of this video is just to show how to deploy a web app. Uh, to remove, I can show you a command to remove all this. Before we do that, let's see in the Azure portal. As you can see that resource group cash are is created using PowerShell and our web app cash HR app instead of deleting manually I'll show you how to delete all this so you can prepare for your next exercise obviously you got a one month billing contract you don't want to leave that for overnight or a few days if you don't work and it will incur charges to you so what I normally do is just um, Oops, not this one. And go to my this one and say remove RM Azure uh, resource group. Let's enter in inverted commas cache. If I type right, cache. RG, you want to come again? Say, uh, is asking, are you sure you want to remove? Say yes. As you can see, this came as true. That means it's deleted everything existing on your Azure portal. Please, please be careful. Do not use this command in your production environment. Otherwise, will be a very bad consequences. Let's go and see. Um, refresh it if you go to all resources nothing in there resource group nothing in there so by using that command we, as a clean slate we can prepare for an exercise I hope uh, this video was a little bit longer but you have um, benefit from there and enjoy watching it uh, for any question please uh, put in comments and I'll come back to you thank you very much for your watching bye bye